Welcome to your mat, to your practice today. Come to a cross-legged seat. Palms face down on the thighs. Let the eyes close. Shoulder blades glide down the back. Slow your breathing down. Take a moment to take stock of your internal landscape. On your next breath in, inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, right hand to left knee, left hand behind you, a little gentle twist. I like to even bend my right elbow, help me navigate deeper into the twist. Every in-breath, get a little taller. Every exhale, bend that right elbow, pull the navel towards the spine. Inhale, reach the arms up, big breath in, and exhale, other side, left hand to right knee. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, bend the left elbow if you like as you help support the body in this twist. Beautiful, inhale, reach up. Both arms up and exhale, reach forward. So taking this into a forward fold. Just allow the head to be heavy. Relax the jaw and the tongue. And use your hands, head last thing to come up to slowly return to seated. Switch which shin you had in front. Inhale, both arms up, sinking your in-breath in your arms. And exhale, folding forward. You can sway a little bit side to side. Just experiencing this forward fold with opposite chin in front. Walk your hands back to your shins. Let's transition to lying down on the floor. Soles of feet on the floor, knees point up, reach the fingertips forward, slow spinal roll down. Head is the last thing to touch the mat. Extend both legs, pull the right knee into the chest. Interlace the fingers around the right shin. Just giving yourself a gentle squeeze. Relax the shoulder blades down into the mat. Notice if the traps became elevated or tense. slight compression of the digestive tract and organs here. Make circles now with your right knee. So imagine your right knee was a spoon and you wanted to stir something on the ceiling. So you'd be painting a big O shape on the ceiling if your knee had a paintbrush attached to it. And take it the opposite direction. Just stirring the right femur in the hip socket by taking the knee in these big gentle circles. Slow your breathing down. And extend the right leg long. And pull the left knee in. Starting first with just a gentle compression. So keeping the shoulders relaxed traps relaxed. Think of pulling the left knee down towards your left shoulder. Inhale deeply and begin to make those circles now with the left knee. Lying on your back here, see if you can send the breath into the belly. So each time you breathe in, you're thinking of the belly puffing out. Reverse the direction of the circles with the knee. Extend your exhalation, lengthen your exhalation. And then on your next big out breath, let the left leg slide down and rest. 
Return the soles of the feet to the floor. Lift your hips, your booty up, and shift it over to the right, and let your knees fall left. Arms come into a goal post or cactus shape. Lift the knees so they're in line with the hips. Gentle twist. Gaze can just stay up at the ceiling or even over the left shoulder. I never like to take my gaze in the opposite direction of the twist. Breathe into your low back, sacrum. Relax the soles of the feet. Thigh bones heavy. Allow gravity to be your friend here. Transitioning out to take this twist on the second side, lift the hips up. As you press down through the soles of the feet, take the booty, your seat all the way to the left and let the knees fall right. Stack the knees, bring the knees up in line with the hips. Arms stay in that goal post or cactus shape. Continue to slow your breathing down. Return the soles of the feet to the mat. Press into the feet, lift the hips, lengthen the tailbone forward. So pelvis in neutral, setting the sits bones down and then pull the knees into the chest. Really wrap your forearms around your shins to give yourself a giant squeeze. And coming back to our circles, hold just under the knees and make some teeny tiny circles now with both knees to massage the low back. So smaller is actually better here. And reverse the direction. Massaging the low back into the ground and now squeeze the shins towards your chest one more time. Use your hands, you can roll to one side, however you need to get there, come up to a seated position. Pull the right knee in. Hug it with the right forearm, reach the left arm up, and then take the left hand behind you. Right foot is flexed on that straight leg. Just coming into another twist. I like to press into my left palm or fingertips in order to get a little more length through the spine, lift the heart. Every in-breath you get taller, Every out breath, thinking of the twist being powered by your core, pull navel to spine, and then come forward, Dandasana staff pose for a moment. And then taking the twist on the other side, pull the left knee in, wrap it with the left forearm, reach the right arm up and over behind you. And the left foot flexed on that straight leg pressing into the right fingertips behind you for support. Think of getting taller through the crown of the head. Keep slowing your breathing down. Come back to center, both legs straight. Just shake out the legs a little bit. And transitioning into Malasana squat pose. So if squatting like that feels like too much for you, you can come into this little goddess squat where I have the elbows on the inside of my thighs and sort of rock side to side. This is an awesome place to be. Otherwise, if full Malasana is in your practice, press the palms together, roll the weight into the pinky toe sides of your feet, use your forearms and elbows to 
Press the knees back in space and allow the tailbone to drop and get heavy. Dip the chin. Wherever you are, just slow down your breathing. Allow the low back to widen. Settle into this sacred pause. Coming into seated. Closing out with some Sufi grinds. So hands on the thighs. And then just taking the torso forward to the side and back. And reversing the direction. Just loosening up the hips, the low back. Come to center and place one palm over the other at the area of the belly, the navel. Allow the shoulder blades to drop. Heart to lift, eyes close. Tune into this area of the belly. Sending some healing there. Staying here for as long as you like. We're coming back to any of the moves we practiced for longer Hold there. Bring the hands to prayer, the third eye. And if you're ready to close your practice, you can fold forward and say namaste. Namaste. Hey, if you like this video, you are going to love my free pure beginner master the basics yoga class. Not only do I cover the top 10 yoga poses you're most likely to encounter as a beginner, but I give you a downloadable cheat sheet showing you exactly how to do each of these moves so you know you're doing them correctly. Let's banish the fear and confusion of doing it wrong. Let's master the basics together. Go to brettlarkin.com forward slash beginner for your free download and I'll see you on the mat. Namaste.